Hi, I'm Mark, a customer engineer at StrongVM. Today, I will demonstrate how to add a MySQL database as a data source in StrongVM. We will be using RDS as our test database. To begin, we'll access the StrongVM admin UI, data source tab, and we'll click add data source. We'll give a unique name, something like MySQL test, and we'll select our relevant data source type. In this case, MySQL. We'll need to provide the host name, which we can gather from the RDS console. And take note of the service port configured. We'll enter our database name, in my case, as test one, and our authentication credentials. In my case, I'm just using simple username password, so I'll enter that. We might also add a resource tag, maybe something like environment equals test. And then we'll click create. Now from here, a health check will automatically be queued. It may immediately run like that, or we can click in for details and you could manually run a health check if necessary. We can see that my existing gateway is returning a healthy result because it can successfully reach as well as connect to this data source. However, my user and the roles associated have not yet been granted access to this data source. So we'll take a look at my user. Here we are with the full access role. And then we'll take a look at that role. Even though it's a full access role, we see that there are no access rules. So we'll need to create some. First, we can create a static rule that goes directly to just that data source. But maybe we'd also add a dynamic rule to any resource with the tag environment equals test. And you can see that that matches our one resource. We'll save and apply. Now from here on my local client, we can see that my user has been delegated access to this data source. I can click to connect and successful connection is noted by the green lightning bolt. Let's also take note of the local service port that we're listening on for our redirection. From here, I could open my workstation tooling, create a local connection to that redirected service port. And from here, I can connect to the database and complete my work. That's all it takes. That's how we create a MySQL database data source within StrongDM and give access to our users. Thanks so much for watching. If there are any questions, please leave them in the comments below.